I dreamt a dream tonight. I was in Paris. There was a carnival. We we're in the back of an old blue pickup truck, the other captives and I. It takes a while for me to remember I am a captive, and then suddenly I realize you know the way dreams work, you're in one place, and then suddenly you're in another place. I realize I'm not in Paris at all. It was Fire Island, then San Francisco, then the South China Sea. In my dream, San Francisco was in the South China Sea. I cannot recall why we are captives, and then I can. I'm brought down to this really remote place in the basement, and after I'm left alone there for some time, this man in a small gray coat walks in with his child and his two parents, and they start talking to me. They just wouldn't stop talking. And he kept asking me these questions, and I just kind of fumbled, and I remember it visually. He takes my hand, and it was a searing pain that went all the way up my hand and arm like fire, and I pulled away. But all the while, he's looking me in the eye and saying, I'm okay, I'm okay. And in addition to telling me he was okay, he says to me, you've got to move on. I suddenly found myself, you know, the way dreams work, you're in one place and then suddenly you're in another place. I suddenly found myself standing in my parents' backyard in winter and it was snowing really lightly. I don't really dream weather too often, but the snow was really present for some reason. There are these torn pieces of paper on the ground. I reach down to pick one up and there's a message written on it in handwriting I think I recognize. It says, go to the land of your fathers. There you will find words. As I looked at it, I realized that if I took the S off the end of words and put it onto the front, it would read sword. My father comes out of the house and into the yard. There is a sadness in his eyes. He pauses, looks at me. We lower our hatchets. He opens his mouth to speak. I was in Paris. There was a carnival. I saw. I was in Paris. There was a carnival. I pretended that I saw something. We are in the back of the old blue pickup truck. The other captives. I have just awakened from it. It takes me a while to remember. Dreams work here in one place and then suddenly you're in another place. 
there was some carrots. There was, there was a carrot in front of me. I saw some of the way up my hand and blind. And I realized that I was there as well. I was San Francisco was in South China Sea when she was gone. So I found a sailboat and I made my way somehow to I cannot recall why we are captains and then we have been taken hostage by a cult. And he just kept answering these questions and I just kind of fumbled and I remember in addition to me, he was okay. He, uh, he basically said, like, you gotta move on. I dreamt a dream tonight. I was in Paris. There was a carnival. Paris, there was a carnival. I was in Paris.
तकदीम तत्त 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 तरकेट तकदीम तत्त 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 तरकेट तकदीम तत्त 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 तीम तत्त 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 काचल कलको तद 
de tom, ta dinguei na tom, ta dinguei na tom, ta dinguei na tom, ta de tom, ta de tom, ta de tom, ta dinguei na tom, ta dinguei na tom, ta dinguei na tom, ta de tom, ta de tom, ta de tom, ta dinguei na tom, ta dinguei na tom, ta dinguei na tom, ta de tom, ta de tom, ta de tom, ta dinguei na tom, ta dinguei na tom, ta dinguei na tom, ta de tom, ta de tom, ta de tom, ta dinguei na tom, ta dinguei na tom, ta dinguei na tom, ta de tom, ta de tom, ta de tom, ta dinguei na tom, ta dinguei na tom, ta dinguei na tom. Takita dekita tom kita da dinge na tom da dinge na tom da dinge na tom takita dekita tom kita da dinge na tom da dinge na tom da dinge na tom takita dekita tom kita da dinge na tom da dinge na tom da dinge na tom kari sa kari sa ta sa da pa kari sa da pa kari sa da pa ga sa da pa kari sa ri kari ga pa ga pa ta sa ri ga pa ga ri ga pa da pa ga pa ta sa ri kari sa ri sa da sa da pa ga ri sa da pa ri sa da pa ga sa ri ga pa da Good evening, everybody. Thank you so much for being here. I don't know how to tell you how excited I am to be here tonight. Um, it took me two years to put this program together, and I'm finally here, so it's really, really exciting. Um, I have to thank, <laughs> thank you. I just have to tell you, though, that I couldn't have put this program together if it wasn't for Live Connections and World Cafe Live for providing this incredible space. And I think it's perfect for this kind of program. And specifically, I would love to thank Mary Javian, Melinda Steffi, David Bradley, and all the rest of the staff at Live Connections. So thank you so much for having me. Thank you. I also would like to thank Vera Wilson from Astral Artists for co-presenting this wonderful concert. I don't know where she's sitting, but she's here somewhere. Well, I'll, oh, okay. <laughs> Hi, Vera. <laughs> um, just want to give a little bit of an idea of what this program is about. So clearly, the first two pieces that you heard are pretty much black and white. The first piece you heard by Patrick very abstract, spoken words, um, more, I guess, per se, a typical sound of contemporary music. And then we jumped right into Shobana's piece, which is more traditional Indian music, but it's also new music. And I really wanted to take this opportunity to bring all sorts of genres into one setting, because I feel like we are so divided up. Uh, the classical fans always go to the classical music, listening to Brahms symphonies and Mozart quartets and all of these things. And then the new people, new music people always go to these contemporary shows. And I thought, I mean, I like both. I like all kinds of music. I think I can play a lot of different kinds of music. So why not bring all of this into one setting? So you're here today to experience really just about everything. And I hope you're ready for that because you're definitely going to be hearing a lot of different music. And I feel even a little bit... Um, you know, just a little bit, um, I have to switch really one gear to another because there are just a lot of different kinds of music. So I really hope you keep an open mind and um, be ready to listen to lots of awesome and different kinds of music tonight. Um, I, I also have to give a shout out. Thank you. <laughs> I have to give a shout out to um, some friends of mine that came all the way from California, and they're sitting right here. And um, Joan and Alan Fish and Leslie and Rick, um, thank you so much for coming all the way from San Francisco Bay Area, um, especially to Joan and Alan. They actually commissioned Patrick's piece. So thank you so much for, for doing that. And 
really, really special, so thank you. So I'm going to be closing off the first half with a really massive piece. Um, in the program, I think it says that the next piece is Twist by Vivian Fung, but we're actually going to switch it around a little bit and we're going to play Deciduous by Andy Akiho. So I would like to welcome Ian Rosenbaum, who's gonna be joining me on stage on the steel pan. And here is Deciduous by Andy Akiho.
I, I told you it's going to be really different. <laughs> so we are going to change gears a little bit here. Um, so clearly, that was, a lot of that was improvising. And um, I'm sure you're going to have a ton of questions <laughs> for all of these people. Clearly, this instrument is something that I'm sure many of you have seen but never heard played that way. I'm sure you have questions for Patrick with all the text and all that electronic sound. So um, we're going to leave all the questions for actually after the concert. Um, everybody's going to join me on stage after the program is over and answer all your questions. Um, so I hope you can stick around and join us for this Q&A session afterwards. So we're going to change gears a little bit. We're going to go back hundreds and hundreds of years. <laughs> and we're going to play... Um, a beautiful piece called Fantasy by Camille Sansons. And I am so honored and so thrilled that I'll be joined on stage by one of my favorite harpists and also one of my favorite people, Bridget Kibbe.
Thank you. I can't believe we're already on to our last piece. Um, before we bring out the the one and only Jason Leo, um, I know he's a big, big in uh, Philadelphia also, and for Life Connections and World Cafe Life, so I'm so honored that he could be here. Um, I, I just have to thank all the musicians that uh, joined me on stage today because these guys are really the best of the best. Um, and for them to really open up their schedule and to do this with me, it's really, I think it's really a dream come true. And it, I think that was probably the most rewarding thing for me through this process, to really learn about the friendship of these composers and my fellow colleague performers. So um, I just have to give a shout out to all the musicians. So, yeah. <laughs> And now, to end our program, like I said, we have the one and only Jason Vio on guitar. <laughs> We're going to be playing for you um, a world premiere piece. And there were four other world premieres tonight, which is a big theme of this project also. Um, and this one is called Twist, and it is by Vivian Fung.
Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, thank you. Um, we have a little treat for you that's not on the program, so I'm going to bring Bridget and John back on stage with us. And this is actually written by our very own percussionist, John Hadfield, called Sisters. <laughs> <laughs> 